diamond wheels. Let's see how this works. This guy just bit the dust. Connor doesn't like the diamond wheels. Says they get hot. I think Connor's right. Slower, hotter, and throwing bigger chunks at me. So this was a cutoff wheel and it worked pretty good. It was meant for stainless. That's all I can see on it now. It says HP. Other than that, I don't know what it is. This is a KT four and a half inch cutoff wheel. Very thin for steel. Let's see what it does. I don't see any arrow for direction. 13,000 RPM max speed. Well, I like that. that. That wheel worked good. I think it went down kind of quick, but it really cut nice. And it cut very, I didn't have to push hard. Okay, so now I got this piece out of here. Gotta go fit this up. Getting pretty close. So one thing I don't like about these cutoff wheels is on the back side of the cut, it leaves razor blades. So I'll have to clean that off before I cut myself the ribbons. If I just bump that flush, I'm pretty pretty close. It's a pretty pretty flush. I could probably just weld that in. The only thing is, it's got to go that way because I can see that this is just a little bit to this side. I'll have to trim this back a hair. Figure out how I'm going to do that. I think what I'm going to do is cut this off here, so I can tuck it up under there, or, and then I'll cut that. So this here, I'll, I'll leave most of this. I got to trim that in. I'll have to fit it. Yeah, like I said, this piece wasn't so great either, but that didn't want I had. Well, that's weird. I was just trimming this up at the seam and look what I found. A little bit of braise. I don't know if that means that this was a repair. Yeah, there's bronze there. I, I don't think factory did the brazing, but maybe they did. Well, I don't think they did because they got spot welds everywhere else. Hmm. I don't know, but I do got to clean this thing up. There's more braise. So there's braise on this car and that car. They must have done it from the factory. Unless... The overwhelming odds of me having both cars that were wrecked in the same side, well, I don't have the other car, but I had the part from it. Me getting two quarters that were wrecked on the side and braised back together in 1974, pretty slim chance of that. So I think they must've used braised at the factory. I didn't know they did. I thought they just spot welded everything together, but that's nifty to know. So I'm gonna cut this out now up here, cut it around, I, I gotta make this fit. But I think it'd be easier to put a whole quarter on because you just connect the big dots. Now I'm connecting small dots and it's kind of a nuisance. Well, I got it mostly trimmed in there. A Little bit of nipping here, a little bit of trimming there. Grind, grind, trim, trim. So it's pretty close to being in there. I just sprayed a little black paint on there. A light dusting just so I know where to cut. I'm gonna cut it off at there because I got her crammed down in the place pretty good. So I'm gonna trim that off and get it so it'll fit right in there. And I gotta do something about the rust on it. I'm probably gonna spray it down with ortho, orspho, or whatever that stuff is. Treat up with this ospho. And then I'll weld it in. I got this back quarter looking a whole lot like a chunk of Swiss cheese. Connor just came in from work. Hey Connor. Hey, what's up? Nothing. Oh, I just working on this all day and I got to, uh, I cut a hole and uh, oh, cool. built this patch, which was a pain. Nice. Did a little more cleaning up on the trunk. Yep. Which is Four very, holes. very <laughs> holy. <laughs> but, well, it's, it, I don't know, it's for the most part solid, just got some bad spots. Yeah. So I may hold off till after it's painted to fix them. That, that's something I could fix any old time. Well, looks like a little spray paint trick worked. Gives me a nice defined edge to go ahead and cut that off at. Well, not too bad. I got her fitting in there pretty nice and flush. For the most part, there's a couple places I'm gonna trim it up a little bit, like it's a little tight here. And up at this end, I gotta trim it out and fit it. Maybe what I'll do is weld, and then I'll just do a grinder cut there and cut it to fit. I gotta drill a couple holes in this so I can do a couple spot welds on that brace that's down below there. And uh, we'll take it from there, I guess. Ooh, looks like I got her pretty close. 
I gotta get this to fit in there. I'll give that a little grind too, open it up a little bit. Well, that looks like I got it really. Oh, that's that's it right there. Ooh, nice. Nice, nice, nice. Yeah, I'll be able to weld this in and get it caught. A little bit right there on the corner, but not too bad. Looking good. So I'm gonna take my little flapper wheel, one of these five and a half inch grinder wheels I put on these on this Makita grinder. Now I, I've mentioned before I like these Makitas mainly because they're cheap and they, they work good. So I'm gonna take this flapper wheel, clean this up, and then I'm gonna take the wire wheel that's on the chuck, and it works nice on these impactors because they really spin fast. And then if they catch anything, they just ratchet. So it doesn't try to tear your hand off. Now another thing that works good that I've noticed is uh, something I can't find now. Oh, there it is. This guy, I've got an angle drill with a little wheel stuck on it. It's narrower, it can get in the tighter spots with it. So I'll grind this guy off. Still pretty dirty, but hopefully the asphalt clean that up. I gotta drill a couple holes in there for spot welding. I'm gonna see how that looks over there. Well, I got that all slathered up with the asphalt. Hopefully it um, cures it up good. My next pr thing, so I took off these little medallions. Boy, what a pain in the neck to get to. It actually covers a, there's a split in the metal between here. And I think that's just because of the way it was formed and that's, they threw that medallion on there. But anyway, the 69 fender doesn't have it, but the 70 fenders have that medallion covering up this crack. I could weld these shut and just get delete that. I don't know if I'm got it or not. This one's a little pity looking and stuff, so I don't know if it looked better without it or if it looked better with it. Let me know, throw it in the comments. And, you know, I keep waffling back and forth on how far I wanna go on this thing. I could easily just tap this all back and cover it up with a bunch of Dynaglass, grind it off, clean it up. It'd probably even cover that hole or I could weld it shut. Or maybe I should just cut it right out and piece, new piece of metal there because I'm afraid a lot of this has come from the back side, and no matter what I do on the front side, next week, another rust hole will pop in from the back side. So that's probably what I'm gonna do. I'm probably gonna cut that out and put a piece of metal in there. Yeah, in which case, I'll probably pull the bumper off too. There's a couple bolts under there. I still have the bumper hanging. I did loosen it up when I took the lights out. But I'm this far, so might as well do it. And that, my friends, is the slippery slope of fixing up a driver car. It sat around and got rusty. I mean, Made a simple L bend out of some sheet metal. Ah, typical 18 gauge, just a piece I had laying around. It was a little sliver. And this, this ought to work pretty good. I just had to cut it the length a little bit. So I'm gonna go around that fender with that. But what I gotta do is put it in the stretcher. I've got the shrinker stretcher mounted here on this table. I gotta mount it here pretty, pretty permanently. I gotta move stuff out of the way every time I use it because I'm such a slob. But anyway, here it is. So I gotta change the bit. I, this is the... Uh, stretcher part and that would give me the bend out. I don't want that. I want the bend in. So I made this nifty little thing that don't work no more. Thought it worked. Oh, it's hot. I just took an electric box and screwed it under there. Put one screw under there so I have a little little swing out drawer to put my other unit in. I kept worrying about losing it. So loosen this up. Pull this out. I can drop it in here now. Then put this one in here. And this is going to stretch it. If I get it to go in there, oh, oh, there we go. There we go. Okay. Yeah, this is going to shrink it. All right, I put a couple little dashes on here just so I know where I'm at. Um, kind of a severe stretch between these two, and then that little one is just a little, little touch. So let's see how we do. Got to bring it out my way just a little bit. I got a long way to go. It may not work for me because it's pretty steep. See what that tool does. It's pretty awesome. I think I got to go further, but let's go over and check. Now I decided to make this piece before I even do any cutting. So I didn't cut out any of this yet. Okay, see what I got to do. I got to swing that in further yet. I also don't have it to length. Uh, I got it to length pretty much on this side. This material back here is a little scabby looking, but it's not bad. And, and from the back side, it looks clean. So, but here I got pinholes. So I want to get rid of all the little pinholes and stuff. But all that to say, I'm getting fairly close there. I just got to make that bend up that way a little more. You see it, the curve there? 
I got to duplicate this curb, which is pretty slight. that's pretty good that just lays in there pretty darn flat so now I'm gonna mark that and cut it out and then fit this piece in there I'm also gonna have to get rid of some spot wells I think up and under here probably can't see them too good but up and under this ridge I want to get rid of that okay I cut that chunk of fender out here it is I actually was just barely able to tell where the spot welds were, and I just drilled them out. I don't have a spot weld drill. Well, I do, but I can't find it anywhere. But anyway, it's in here somewhere, and I can't find it. So now I've got this, and of course, it's all rusty. So I'm going to treat that thing up to it's solid. It just got surface rust on it. It should have never got a whole lot of water. But like I was saying about this piece, too, the piece I cut out that came from here, if you look at the back of it, I mean, it's just all pitted on the back side and just there's a bunch of places that are ready to just pop through you know I tapped on it and just from working on it there's a couple more holes than I remember seeing before so this thing was just going to keep swish cheesing its way through from the back side and you know I put nice paint over top of it it just been a holes popping out so this seems like it's fairly solid back in here it's still solid I'm going to spray as much treat as I can back there and then spray some some spray can paint back in there just to solid it up now I gotta make this thing fit a little closer I went ahead and did it, did it like that and I got it really tight but you can see that it just don't quite line up and it really matters in this spot because that light goes here and it's gonna be a contrast between this edge which I got to make sure stays nice which it does look pretty good now and the top of that light otherwise you're gonna see where it doesn't match good and if I leave this, so it's, if I just welded this on and had it even that sixteenth of an inch that it's lower, it's going to be tight and fit weird against that light. So what I'll probably do is just use a flapper wheel and just fit it in until I get it so it fits real tight and perfect. And then I'm going to cut it off on the edge up front and we'll take it from there. Well, looks like I got it. This piece fits in there just swimmingly. Looks like I'm going to be able to weld it in there pretty tight. I put a couple of holes in the bottom so I can do some rosette welds in there and get it caught and I couldn't have done this without the shrinker stretcher without the stretcher part of that I just wouldn't have been able to do that I don't think at least I don't know how and I certainly couldn't have done it as easily making the bend was easy in the break and, and cutting stuff to length with the shear is nice too but you could use snips and you can bend metal over you know an edge of steel or something I happen to have that table that's quarter inch plate steel which is very handy um, but you can bend metal over stuff pretty easy but Replacing that shrink stretch, I don't, I don't see how I could have done that. So anyway, I got it ready to go, and I'm going to clean it up, hit it on the back side with some primer. All right, well, anyway, hope you guys liked the video. Like, share, subscribe. We'll see you in the next one.